Now to the latest out of Jacksonville, Florida, where a gaming tournament in the city ended with three dead and 11 injured. Audio of the shots fired were caught during the game's live stream. We're not going to play the entire clip, but we still want to warn you, it might be hard to hear. It's going it's a lot. It's, it's going to be hard yeah. to get them on stream. It's, it's not a, a lot. It's not a tough out today. Excuse me, not an easy out. Competitors were playing an NFL video game Sunday afternoon when those shots rang out. Authorities raced to the scene as witnesses say they ran for cover. Kind of all just ducked under the table. Um, I ended up getting shot in my foot. When the shooting stopped, three people were killed, including the gunman who took his own life. At least nine others were sent to the hospital with gunshot wounds. Authorities don't know the motive yet, but they did release the shooter's identity. 24-year-old David Katz from Baltimore, Maryland. Authorities searched the shooter's parents' home in Baltimore, but didn't find anything. As they continue their investigation, the community there in Jacksonville is now coping with another mass shooting tragedy. Chris. In today's headlines, Milwaukee's city attorney says police officers involved in the arrest and tasing of Buckstar Sterling Brown did nothing wrong. The body cam video of the arrest caught national attention. Brown alleges in a lawsuit the officers targeted him because he was black and their use of force was unwarranted. In Minneapolis, a man is recovering after being beaten and robbed on campus at the U of M. The victim told police two suspects followed him Saturday night from the West Bank Grocery to a nearby bus stop and attacked him before stealing his cell phone. If you have any information, call police. A memorial garden dedicated to an eight-year-old boy who was killed by an allegedly drunk snowmobiler is now open. Alan Geisenketter Jr. died in January after he was hit on Chisago Lake. This summer, his grandmother, Mary Beth Lani, planted a garden in memory of him. I find working in a garden extremely healing. And it, it's a place to think of the happy things and all the, the good memories. On August 1st, Little Allen's Law took effect in Minnesota. People convicted of driving while drunk, regardless of the vehicle they're driving, will lose their license, as well as privileges to drive ATVs, motorboats, and snowmobiles. Chris, thanks. 6.03, time for our digital dive this morning. Sad news from over the weekend. Senator John McCain passed away on Saturday after battling a rare form of cancer, glioblastoma. He was just 81 years old. This morning, we're learning the details of when the war hero and public servant will be honored and laid to rest. That includes one of the highest honors in the country, lying in state at the U.S. Capitol. It's an honor that has been given to only 30 other people. He will be then buried at the U.S. Naval Academy on Sunday. There's been a huge outpouring of support on social media after the news of his death. His wife, Cindy McCain, tweeting, My heart is broken. I'm so lucky to have lived the adventure of loving this incredible man for 38 years. A lot of you were sharing your condolences on our Care, Love and Facebook page. Judy says total class and integrity, sad loss for family and country. And Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar sharing her memories of McCain. Here she is talking the last time she saw him at his Arizona ranch. And he just pointed to one quote from his own book. And that was, um, you are liberated when you fight for a cause that's bigger than yourself. That's liberation, that's freedom. Um, and that's John McCain. And as I mentioned, a lot of our viewers sharing their condolences on our Care, Love, and Facebook page. You can do so as well. But uh, yeah, just a guy of integrity, as a lot of these people have been saying. And it doesn't matter, both sides of the aisle, people loved John McCain. In fact, Bush and Obama, former presidents that beat him for presidency, are actually going to speak at his funeral, read the eulogy there. So that just shows his class. Yeah, it made an impression on lots of people, oh, as sure. you uh, saw from that quick tribute there. Right now, let's take it with Sven for the one thing weather. Yeah, we're looking at uh, pretty steamy conditions today, and that will lead to some storms later in the day as cooler, drier air moves in. Uh, morning and afternoon, mostly dry, though, up close to 90 today. Dew points in the 70s, and then after 4 o'clock, we are looking at a pretty good bet of some storms with some uh, potential for heavy rainfall. We'll talk more about coming up. And the one thing you need to know about traffic today, an incident this morning on I-394 westbound. You're going to want to watch out for it there on the shoulder from exit 4 or Louisiana Avenue to about Park Place. Well, in other news this morning, remember Serena Williams' awesome Nike cat suit at the French Open? If you didn't, there's a picture of it right there. She said it made her feel like a superhero or a warrior princess, but it also had a necessary medical purpose to prevent blood clots. 
Well, the big wigs in charge of tennis have banned the suit because, quote, it didn't respect the sport or the tournament. Kind of unprecedented to have a sport call out its biggest star like that. And some people said might have been some racism there. Nike's response, basically a big fat middle finger. This image right here is what they tweeted. You can take the superhero out of her costume, but you can never take away her superpowers. And we could talk about social media fails every single day if we wanted to. Today's comes from the National Weather Service out of Grand Forks. Someone forgot to log out of the NWS account before tweeting some snark at Mitt Romney. The post said, you fraud, speak to the justice system's handling of Clinton Obama at all. Yeah, that is not an official Weather Service position. And the service, which is a federal agency, apologized for the employee's mistake. Kirk Cousins, you know, he's just trying hard to fit in here, be a real Minnesotan. What better way to do that than to head to the state fair? Here's the problem. He tried to go on Saturday, a record setting day for attendance. His tweet right here, rain check on the Minnesota State Fair. Parking was a challenge. Hoping later this week I can try a deep fried Twinkie for the first time. Kirk, I feel ya. I went to the State Fair on Saturday too. 220,000 people is too much. Everything was a challenge there. But don't worry, lots of days left to get that Twinkie and a lot of Minnesotans, of course, offering some helpful tips like use the park and ride or Uber there. I don't think Kirk Cousins is going to be on the park and ride, but you think maybe he could get a special yeah, spot. Yeah, or something, he gave up. Right? I, like, yeah. so, he gave up. He, or he gave up. Week. You know what, though? Really, like my in-laws drove around for two hours trying to find a parking spot. And, you know, the fair is great. But when there's 220,000 people, you were literally just standing there. You couldn't even walk down the street. Yeah, but so you know, crazy. your in-laws don't play for the hottest team in well, town. Well, exactly. This is so what I'm thinking. I, Why I, couldn't he just be like, hey, I'm Kirk Cousins. Let me into the main to lot. to the front door. I'm calling yeah. foul on that. He exactly. could have gone. You could have gone, Kirk. Come, come on, come Kirk. On. Yeah, weak. This is, yeah, I don't believe it at all, Mr. Cousins. Hey, but more <laughs> to come on Sunrise. We're talking about the State Fair, of course, and a little love story that Ooh. many won't forget anytime <laughs> it's soon. It's a pretty good one. You're going to want to catch it. Plus, a controversial ruling coming today on those 3D printed guns. Then are you a T-Mobile customer? Hackers may have broken into your account.